Hello, hello, and welcome to Community TV with Adair. This is TV for you by TV from me. This is where I talk to people in the community who are doing amazing things to help add value to the lives of people around them. They could be anything, it could be anything from meditation, a yoga class, learning to cook, reading tarot cards or healing, physical fitness or gardening, whatever you're interested in, it's going to be covered here. Today is a very, very special episode of Community TV with Adair. It's the first time that we've actually had some musos on the show. And I'd like to introduce Alex Alexander. Alex, uh, we actually got Denise Alex Alexander from the border. <laughs> I forgot to check what that was. So I'm just going to say meet Alex from the Borderers. Now, the Borderers became a band by accident when Jim Patterson was backpacking in Australia in 1993 as part of a around the world trip. He says, I was visiting South Australia to visit a friend and I got invited to a recording studio to hear this band. I love their sound so much that I eventually co-produced the album, married the lead singer and bought a house in Adelaide. <laughs> That's a big adventure. <laughs> it? it was fake, wasn't it? Yeah, Lisa, yeah, a wife of Jim, Alex, who is here, born in Belfast, Northern Ireland, and came to Australia in 1987 and lists Annie Lennox and Joni Mitchell as the major influence. Jim was born in Glasgow in Scotland and arrived in Australia on Christmas Eve 1993 and is influenced by ACDC or Akadaka as it's otherwise known, Thin Lizzy, Status Quo and Talking Heads. Well, that's an interesting combo. Ah. 25 years later and the borderers are still electrifying audiences across Australia and the world with their fusion of Celtic rock, Zydeco, African folk, gospel and whatever style of music that happens to take their fancy. Welcome, Alex. Wow. Oh, thank you, Adair. Lovely to be here. <laughs> I do hope, now I'm going to have to say that if you are listening, please let me know if you can hear Alex. We've had some tech difficulties and Alex has joined us by phone. So I've got it propped up against the mic. If you could see this high tech stuff happening in the background, you would laugh. But <laughs> so, so, so Alex, um, really just a, I guess to start with a little bit of a, um, you've got a potted history there, but uh, uh, how did that all sort of come about? It was really interesting. Now you've got 25 years and... and yeah, I know. It's, it's gone in a flash, really. I mean, um, who would have known that uh, 25 years ago we'd still be here in 25 <laughs> years, you know? But um, that's the beauty of it. Um, it's sort of organic. It has unfolded. Uh -huh. And with 10 albums later and um, uh, a child later and... <laughs> <laughs> who's now 21 right. um yeah you know it's and a lot of touring and a lot of traveling around the world and yeah we've i feel like we've done quite a lot really in the time yes yeah well 10 albums and you all do you write your own music yeah we do actually yeah so mainly um what we record is our own music but we also do if we particularly like a song We'll, we'll do a version, our own version of that as well. So there are a couple of um, ones, you know, that aren't our own on the album. Or it could be someone else's original piece that we like, you know, just mm -hmm. whatever takes a fancy. I, I think, I mean, the songs I've heard you and Jim sing, and obviously you are now the band because yeah, <laughs> since, yeah. since he band crashed, <laughs> yes. stole the lead singer and then... <laughs> Yes. That's another way of putting it, isn't it? But, yeah. um, but the, all the music I've heard you uh, sing and, and perform has been all originals. And I've really, I've got a special one that I want to share with people uh, a bit later on in today's show. But I'm just really interested in how you go with original music and in a, because Adelaide is a fairly, uh, I know you play global, globally, but Adelaide's a fairly uh, traditional place in terms of bands and cover bands so yeah cons conservative yes. maybe a little bit yes. yeah <laughs> yeah um well i what i find is there that um if you 
if you play your own music with passion, um, people respond to that. Mm -hmm. And if, if you have catchy songs, which, you know, they can sing along, and sometimes that, that just means simplicity, you know, like simple, they're not necessarily the most complex songs in the world, but people can pick them up quickly and sing along and, and get involved. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what I, I think people then like like our music then because we're putting that across you know and i mean hopefully they like it i'd like to <laughs> they're smiling a lot of the time <laughs> well i have to say when i when i heard that was you're my tribe like i said i will play that afterwards because yeah. the minute i heard it i loved it and i think by the end of the two minute song i was actually singing it. <laughs> oh good good that's the idea yeah that's the idea i was it was just the energy and the it just really resonated and it was and so we've adopted it with I'm hoping I've got your permission. We've adopted it. Oh, as, yes. <laughs> go um, ahead. Go ahead. Adele. As our theme song for our community that uh, myself and my business partner run, which is uh, Women in Business Adelaide. So oh, we've got great. that. When I saw it come up in the news feed on Facebook, I thought this is an absolutely entirely excellent song and because we are Good. all about community and I'm actually I'm going to, you can't see this, uh, Alex, but I'm going to put a frame on and uh -huh. you will see down the bottom it's got it's got a love heart and usually if you were on uh, camera with me i would be uh, getting us to poke our faces inside the frame so anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, that's but nice. down the bottom it's got it's all about community because that's what it's about for us and it's that community so that's why the major reason why that song and it was such a catchy like you said catchy tune easy to sing and i uh, was uh, belting it out so we have adopted that as our um our song uh, in the right. business adelaide community and i will play that as well so so you who's the songwriter of the duo is it yourself or jim or no, do you both do it it's, it's a both it's a joint effort and and often what will happen is jim comes up with the initial idea like he he'll have a rhythm or a beat or something um on the guitar and then we sort of have a think about what what sort of ideas that invokes and then mm -hmm. we get you know it's fine it's 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 a funny process because sometimes like the tribe song took us very few few drafts to get it yeah but uh, other songs you know you can be there you know 39 drafts later or something like that because it's just you just can't quite get it right you know um it, it just depends on the song well after doing it for 25 years well probably longer but 25 years together yeah yes i've got my is it my head osama osama i'm hoping i pronounce your name correctly but welcome it says uh they're new here from manchester so, so welcome and if you know of anybody else who would just love this uh, this information and uh, please feel free to pass on the information to them emma's here emma rolls hi emma i am great whereabouts are you if you're in adelaide i'm hoping you're enjoying the week winter sunshine if you're somewhere else then do let us know because we do have people here from right around the world so that is awesome um, we do, uh, one of the things that we were talking about before we came on and um, went live was the uh, the 25th anniversary and you've had a couple of events for that already or an event for that already, was that? Um, yeah, in March we, we had um, a show at the Gov. We mm -hmm. had a sort of like a reunion of the old band members and um, it was really great actually. It's we had uh, Scottish dancers and pipers and all that kind of thing, and it was it was fantastic. It was a great atmosphere, and uh, we thought that we'd like to do another uh, another show um, for Father's Day, which is actually on Sunday, this September the first, mm -hmm. um, and that's at the Arkaba and starting at two p.m. till about five. So it's an afternoon show. It's family friendly. Great place, you know, to bring uh, your dad to if he's a hopefully he's a fan of the um, borders. If not, you never know. He just might love the whole Irish uh, Celtic uh, atmosphere of it, you know. Exactly. I've just popped up for uh, because for people watching, Alex is on the phone and she's because we had some tech issues earlier and she wasn't able to join me 
uh, in on camera, but she has uh, phoned in on the mobile and I'm hoping you can hear her okay. Emma is new from New Zealand, so welcome New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is really awesome and just remember if you have people that you think would like to hear this or see this information or know about this it's actually happening as Alex said on the 1st of September on Father's Day and it's at the Arkabar Hotel in Adelaide tickets are very very reasonable and you get a stellar lineup don't you oh yeah you get well you get all kinds of everything we're actually very lucky because we have a special guest joe lawler um who sings with sting paul simon and peter gabriel and she's actually in town um to see her own dad and so she's going to be springing him along and singing singing for him on father's day at our show so uh, i think that's pretty fantastic um We've also got Irish dancers, bike pipe, pipers, comedian, you know, all that kind of stuff. And put, we're putting on uh, just, um, you know, something similar to what we did at the Gov, but uh, a wee bit different as well. So awesome. you could you could still come to this one and still enjoy it because it will be a different different material and whatnot, you know. Well, even if it's the same, you know, it would be, <laughs> I think the energy. I've seen you. I've seen you. Like I said, just uh, perform, and uh, I love the energy that you and Jim bring to your performances. Just like to let Emma know that uh, we do have on mytimetv.live. We're a collaborative TV channel, and we do broadcast out to over fifty channels of TV on demand through the Binge Networks uh, syndication program. And Emma, I don't. Do card readings. We do have some psychics and tarot cards and uh, readers and healers uh, that broadcast with us as a collaborative uh, effort. And I'm not one of them, so I would like to say just keep an eye on when they uh, they are. You'll see, you'll get notified if you just click on. I think it's under the follow button and see first at the top under the image on the page or on the channel and you'll be able to see first and you'll see when there's a program happening and because they do we do have quite a few people broadcasting on this channel so thank you for joining us emma enjoy the music we're going to play some music for you in a little while so you might not get a reading but you will be entertained so <laughs> excellent <laughs> now Alex, on a bit of a, a bit of a more somber note, and I, I want to bring this up because we did again talk about this um, it before uh, before we went on air, uh, and I'm relating this to last week on Thursday. Uh, my partner and I, my business partner and I, have a show called The Show with No Name. We're also on my time TV live. And we had special guest Sarah Tapscott from Pure Potential Events who was putting on a breakfast for Are You OK Day. Oh, now, yes. Um, and that was, I actually, in full disclosure, I wasn't feeling OK at that, at that day. So I actually just jumped in, said hi, and then dropped myself out of the broadcast because I thought I'd probably end up a blubbering mess. Uh, but, but I felt safe to be able to do that. And you said that there is a um, is a uh, th there is a thread of uh, depression and uh, sort of mental health issues with people in the industry, or is that yeah yeah oh yeah definitely it's a, it's a very high percentage of people um, in the music industry do suffer from depression and anxiety and you know other mental illnesses and. Um, Jim's actually done uh, a project called Raw, uh, which is to do with that topic. And there's a song that's been written and it's Ooh. been being sung by a whole lot of different um, artists um, all over the place. In fact, he's he started here in Adelaide, but he's also getting other people from um, other places in the world to oh. uh, join in as well, because it is quite a worldwide thing obviously and um we just what we want to draw attention to it but also to destigmatize it as yes. well because there still is a big stigma around mental health issues yes. and um you know it's uh, uh, industries that are very up and down like like the music industry it is a bit hard you know you're in you might be in the limelight sometimes and then you're absolutely not at others and you know, you might have a great gig and then the next gig you might have an absolutely terrible gig and so it is a bit uh, unstable at times, you know. Yes. Um, 
yeah, so that's that. That's really um, what he's trying to achieve, uh, you know, at the moment with that project. So is Raw a, um, is that Raw because you're Raw or is it Raw an acronym for something or is it? No, yeah, Raw, well, Raw is the rawness of how you feel, yeah. really, um, and how, um, and it's actually, Jim wrote this out of, from his own experience and was, you know, when he was feeling particularly that way mm -hmm. and it seems to have resonated with um, a lot of people, you know, because let's face it, a lot of us do have these issues and it is, um, you know, we're still a bit hush-hush, uh, unfortunately, yes. apart from, you know, are you okay and things like that. Um, that are bringing it out a bit more where you can actually talk to people about it and not mm. feel bad for doing so, you know? Yes, yes. And I know when I was growing up, there was you just couldn't. It was a, the huge stigma attached. Oh, so, yeah, definitely. So, so how can we encourage people to support RAW? Um, is that on your Facebook page or is it? Well, Jim's just develop it, developing it um, as we speak, and I guess all that will come to fruition um soon enough it's been recorded at the moment um in mm -hmm. here in Adelaide and he's also as I said getting other people to join in. So I guess once he gets it all established that we will put it on on our Facebook page and all that kind of stuff and mm -hmm. he'll um he's hoping to get, you know, a fair bit of um worldwide attention from it, you know. Yes. But start started here in Adelaide. That's the important thing. Yeah, that is that <laughs> is know? really, really awesome. So yeah, that, that yeah. he's doing that, and actually, you know, that's so uh, you're very, you're very heart centered. And I, I when I've, I've met, met Jim, met with Jim, and I, you know, you can tell straight away that that they're very much heart centered and very caring, which is obviously um, oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been, I do a bit of work too with the young people with mental um, health issues, and it's called Talk Out Loud, and mm -hmm. it's um to do with um you know prevention of suicide and that yes. kind of kind of stuff yes. and um i mean a lot of um I, I recently did a did a workshop where there was kind of half and half of older older folks like myself and also young younger people in their 20 early 20s and it was really quite inspiring to hear their stories you know mm -hmm. and um just how they've overcome certain obstacles and I think uh, you know young people do have an awful lot to get over you know with just cyberbullying and different things mm -hmm. you know just stuff that we maybe we didn't have before you know but mm -hmm. um, again it's, they're all, all these obstacles that they have to overcome I just like to acknowledge Glenn. Hello, Glenn. Thank you for joining us. Do appreciate that. I'm talking with Alex. Now, is it Denise, Alex, Alexander, and Jim Patterson? So I just know you well, as Alex. I like, well, I like Alex because that's just what I've called myself for years, but it comes from the fact that my name is Denise Alexander. And I put the Alex in there, you know, on Facebook, and that's so people know it's oh, me, yeah. right? Because yeah. people that know me from my early days probably still know me as Denise, but yes. um, since I've been doing, since I come to Australia, really, um, I've been known as Alex. So. Okay. Uh, uh, so, so, but I don't mind. You know, I'm not going to be annoyed at anybody <laughs> if they get it wrong. <laughs> you know, I, that's fine. I'm, I'm sure. I just, you know, was, uh, wanted to get it right, so I could call mm. you like uh, any. Yes. Okay. So, uh, Alex and. Um, call you Alex because that's what I know <laughs> momentarily confused so you yes. said and Glenn is saying that um, that is an amazing story absolutely it is and what we will do is we'll sort out this um, sort out this tech staff we'll get you back up and running and we'll actually have you back on the show with no name with Theone and myself <laughs> because I I would like to speak with you further about talk out loud because that's something yes. else that I'm passionate about and so is Theoni. Yes. 
about yeah. showcasing, you know, the good that people are doing in community to help each other. So, so this show is about more about the business side of things and the show with no name is on Thursday mornings at 9.30 a.m. That's more around the charities, the not-for-profits, the people who are helping, doing community fundraising and helping. Oh, fantastic, the yeah. So, so we'll have you back, but today we will just talk a little bit more about, you said that there is another project that Jim is involved in and you're involved yes. in. And while, yes. while you talk about that, I'm just going to share the screen and I'm going to pop your business page up and we'll look through some photos randomly okay. because they otherwise they get to look at me for the whole show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, very good. Pick some good ones, Adara. <laughs> it depends on the order oh. that they've been uploaded. So just share yeah. about this project. <laughs> well, um Basically, the project um, is, is called Unsung Hero, and it's about an um, old Australian boxer called Les Darcy. Um, he has quite a fascinating uh, story, and Jim's actually joined up with a script writer um, who, who he just met up with at the Edinburgh Festival. Actually, he is from Australia, um, but they hadn't previously met yet. They were just talking, you know, via by a phone and all the rest of it um, and so they actually met and it was really great that that's going to all come to fruition and Les Darcy had an amazing story because he it was um, 1914 and the war was coming on and he was wanted to be champion of the world and um, he had to go to America to do that but then he was called up to war and he just wanted to go to America first before he was called up to war he then became he got very bad press they said he was you know um, basically a, a dodger a war dodger and and all the rest of it and um, the guy actually ended up getting sick in America and didn't didn't come home he 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 got ill and died, and he was only 22 mm. years of age. Um, but it's a fascinating story. He came from an Irish background and uh, family, family-owned pubs in Sydney, and um, just he just wanted to do the best for his family, and that's really what it's about. It's from being family-centered and trying to do do your best, and mm -hmm. sometimes things get misinterpreted, you know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He had every he had every um, notion that he was going to go to war and everything, but it's just he just needed to do this for his family before he did. But unfortunately, he's kind of been because of that. He people don't really know that much about him mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because he was really got very bad press, I guess. So then it's showcasing the the other side of it. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. It's true. It's showcasing, you know, him as a person and his family and the love, you know, all the love and stuff like that. And and it's a musical, so you know, there are songs <laughs> songs that go along with that. And, <laughs> well, um, I would have thought there might have been. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's also uh, written with um a guy, a great guy here called Chris John, and he and Jim have put a lot of work and effort into it and yeah. Um, I, I think it's great. It's really, it's a lovely story to tell, and you know, it's just one of those, one of those things. Jim's always wanted to write a musical, yeah. and you know, sometimes it takes a while to to get to these things, but uh, he's done it, and mm. I'm really proud of him. It's great. That's a mammoth undertaking. It really yes, is. Yes, it's huge. It is. I know. I with. Um, uh, with the book I'm writing, it's you know it's it's nowhere near as creative, and it's like that's that's like giving birth. So I can imagine. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, writing, yeah, yeah. writing a it's musical would have its own it, its own labour pains as well. <laughs> well, I think something like a musical, you know, people take years and years and years to bring that out and yeah. to, to actually make it happen. And um, I think perhaps Gem and I might end up doing it a slightly different way, where we maybe showcase the music and, uh, you know, do it as a, a concert show, you know, to, yes. to sort of uh, tell the story with songs. Um, that could be a way of doing it that doesn't have to be like the massive production full-blown musical. 
So there's always ways around these things, isn't there? <laughs> well, there is. There absolutely is. You can, uh, if you get the creativity, you can adapt things, can't you? Yeah. So, oh, you can. Yeah. You can. And, um, yeah. So I mean, we've, I guess we've been up to a lot, really, when you look at. Us. Yes. <laughs> Sounds like. A, hell of a lot and Jim at the moment is still overseas and yeah uh, I'm back in Adelaide um yeah. he'll be coming back um just before uh, he gets back about the 20th of August and mm -hmm. then um we've got the show on the 1st of September mm -hmm. at the Arkaba so so do remember be. to purchase your tickets there's a link above uh you will see that there's also a link to the borderers page their facebook page you can send them a message if you want to ask any questions or i'm going to invite people to just say hi and then jim's probably going to go what the hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> pop in and say hello just make yourself known if you're in adelaide and invite your friends because it sounds like uh, like i said a stellar lineup with yourself and joe and yeah. um, a few hours of pure entertainment bring your folks and uh, i just love the uh there is a range of you said when the introduction we said it was a uh, you did celtic and that what's the the zy i can't i've got to go back and zydeco. zydeco oh it's just it's like um uh louisiana sort of uh, accordion oh, kind really? of music so cool. yeah like cajun <laughs> cajun style you know that mm -hmm. kind of that kind of idea yeah um it's really fun you know we've often we've had really great accordion players play with us and um we just look Adara, we just like music different yeah. styles we do we don't really i think maybe we're a wee bit different in that regard that mm -hmm. it's a bit hard to pigeonhole us entirely although we're known because we're scottish and irish yes we're known as being celtic but in actual fact we do do a lot of styles um I mean, consequently, we, we play, we've played all over the world at different types of festivals, you know, um, country music festivals, Celtic festivals, world music, rock, blues, all, all kinds, you know. Um, yes. And I mean, that's the beauty of it. We get to do that. And it's that's what I really love, in fact, is playing at music festivals. It's one of my favourite things to do. It sounds it sounds absolutely delightful, and it also sounds like you, know, you can tell that you're passionate about doing that. And to to have that wide range, you would appeal to a range of people as well, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, so, Alex, we're out of time, and what I want to do is I want to I'm going to play the um, the song. Your hang on, is it your our tribe or we're your tribe or both even? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll have to think about that because I'm just suddenly thinking. Would don't confuse me, Adair. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, I'm going. I'm going to say you're my you. tribe. I reckon you're my tribe. You're just my, trying to think of it. You're my, you're my tribe. tribe. Um, yeah, it's just about people getting together with your friends and doing the things that you love. And in our case, we love um playing music jamming getting you know writing new songs getting that kind of stuff and i'm just eating eating a meal and having a drink it's lovely i know i just loved it the first time i heard it and uh, like i said adopted it for our women in business adelaide community or our, our tribe i'm going to play it and uh, after we don't go anywhere alex you can listen okay. to this with me and we will wind up community tv with adair and we'll let the song play us out thank you so much for joining us and again we are on mytimetv.live we're broadcasting out to 50 channels over 50 channels of tv on demand through the binge network syndication program and i do look forward to seeing you next wednesday at two o'clock australian central standard time for community tv with adair bye for now in the way, end up doing the things you hate, now was the time to put things right, do a little more of the things I like, oh, like hanging around my tribe, gonna ring around and fight my clan, sharing the laughter, sharing the vibe, I'm just on the fiddle and we're on the blind, I'm always singing, have a really good time. Living in each precious 
this moment to the side of what's important now. I can feel it. Playing with my heart, it's so creating something musical. Oh, we can never replicate this time. So appreciate the feeling. Enjoy the here and now. We will celebrate with food and wine. Oh, oh, oh with my tribe. You're my people. You're my tribe. You're my people. You're my tribe. You're my people. You're my people. You're my people. You're my people. You're my tribe.